New at six, high school students across the country, including right here in mid-Missouri, walked out of school today to protest gun violence. At noon today, students at Hickman High School in Columbia walked out and voiced their frustrations. ABC 17's Nia Henson was at the protest, joins us live in studio tonight. Nia, these students tell you they don't feel safe in their school. Megan Lucan, Students for Change is a student-run group that looks to prevent gun violence in Columbia schools. Behind me is a picture of some of those students who organized the walkout and told me it's ridiculous that shootings in school are still even in discussion. Chants of enough is enough were heard earlier today after a student-run group organized a walkout calling for a change in gun violence. All stemming from the recent school shooting in Nashville that left seven people dead last week and the over 100 mass shootings America has seen in just the first four months of this year. Students at Hickman, Taylor Lee and Carly Jones say they don't feel safe even attending school. We're sick of walking into school, scared if we're not going to walk out. No, I don't feel safe and I don't think anybody really should because you're not. Fire alarms scare us. Yeah. Tornado drills scare us. We don't ever want to be in this, like, all at once assemblies. Most students holding signs emphasizing the fact that the violence can be prevented. We should not have to do this. We should not be out here. I Carly says students for change wants weapon detectors in CPS schools and want stricter state laws for buying guns. Some lawmakers echoed this, saying the age limit in Missouri needs to be raised to buy a weapon and calling for red flag laws. So there's no reason an 18-year-old needs to have an AK-47 or an AR-15. Some lawmakers say adding more security to schools could be the solution. So I think that we need to start with a standard of at least one in, in each district and be willing as a state to set, set aside the dollars to make that a reality. And I House Bill 497 recently passed that requires bleed control kits at crowded K-12 schools in Missouri. I spoke with Missouri State Representative Kathy Steinhoff earlier today, who told me state representatives also participated in the national walkout today. All right, thank you, Nia. So far this year, there have been at least 128 mass shootings across the country, slightly more than last year at this time when there were 123 mass shootings.